Um, good morning, afternoon, brothers and sister Christ. It's a few things I want to run a past y'all. The Lord gave me some dreams. And y'all, like I tell y'all, I know these, when he be talking to me, I know when he give me stuff, he talking to me also. First he talking to me, and then I just hand it out to you guys, because uh, on certain things I hand out to y'all, because sometimes, you know, he have us to do stuff in private. But in this one dream, the Lord's telling us not to be, make sure we don't get deceived in these last days, y'all. And the Lord been telling us about the world, right? The world, they, they have their own gods. The world, have they, own, they worship their own gods. And we have to learn that we separated. He told me, everybody ain't your brother and everybody ain't your sister. He took me into this yesterday. And uh, we're going to get into that. He told us to be careful because everybody is not your brother and your sister. Everybody don't worship the same God that you worship. Everybody don't worship Jesus Christ. So, I see why he had me to greet you and he had me to say, uh, brothers and sisters of Christ. Because he told me this morning, everybody, everybody is not your brother and your sister. <coughs> We got to be careful not to be deceived. Because he said also in the churches, yesterday he was telling us about irresponsible shepherds. Also in the churches, Satan, you know, Satan always sends somebody to come and, um, like you are, uh, he sent his agents always somewhere, like uh, the wedding. Remember the Lord told us about the wedding feast and that one that crept in? Uh, Satan always would send somebody crept in, creeping in against God's people. And this has been happening in the churches. And the people that's preaching the word, the irresponsible shepherds that was preaching the word, they were so much in the world, they didn't even pay attention to what was creeping into the church house. And also we got to worry about our temple as a church. So this, you know, the Lord telling us both ways. He said the church have been letting these churches. The Lord telling me, <coughs> the Lord saying, this been happening in the churches. People in the irresponsible shepherds, they've been so much into the world and left the Lord. That's why they're coming out as compromising, having they, the flock to follow them into this compromise, into the government. They into the government because they got so much into the world that Satan and crept on in the church. They crept on in, sitting among the people, the flock, in the church house because if the real I'm not saying, because you know, God got his real, the ones that have been paying attention, and he got the ones that haven't been paying attention. So the ones that have been paying attention, they call them out. You got witches and everything sitting in the church house. And if you have a spirit of the Lord and with the Lord, the Holy Spirit, then he'll tell you to cast these things out. They want doing these people to stop doing um uh, the fivefold minutes. They start doing uh delivering people um from demons and stuff in the church, everything the Lord told us to do. Heal them and stuff, because they start going into the world and making it all about money. So they start using the people up, then they start relying on the government, because the money. Money and power. Then lead them to sex. The Lord said, some, somebody crept in, and they start going along with them, start accepting, compromising, accepting their religion, accepting what all going along with them, because uh, they got, they start focusing on money. Satan can send somebody in there that got number money. You you because know they know that's what they draw to money in the church. Satan starts sending people in there with money. They root of all evil with money. Got into the start trusting on the government and the system and the money. Start doing a world of things. Start accepting these people in their church. Start going along with the folks, with these demons, going along with them and becoming them like them. Having them in the church. So the Lord told me, everybody ain't your brother and your sister. And this is the days he said, make sure we don't get deceived. This is what Satan going to do. He going to creep in. And this is the thing that's deceiving. Because the thing is, he said, everybody ain't your brother and your sister. <laughs> he said, everybody don't know the word of the Lord. They don't know the word of God. These people don't know the word of God. They only study it for itself, for themselves. They just take anything. And then the Lord, the people that's in the churches, the irresponsible shepherds and them in the church, they left the word of God. Left God to go and trust into the government, the world, and start accepting things in. Okay, so the Lord told me before Christ came, they didn't know how to deal with demonic, um, the spirit. Because 
you know, also say, the Lord say, really said they want to go back to the Old Testament because this was Satan one. Like the Lord told us one time before, before Christ came, Satan want this to go, uh, the demonic back then before the Old Testament, they didn't even know how to fight. They ain't know how to fight. That's why God sent the, the Most High sent His Son Jesus Christ to start fighting, casting out demons, teaching the people to start fighting. They didn't know how to handle it. Now let me tell, go to my dream. To one of my dreams right now, the Lord bringing it up to me. Cause in the dream, one, uh, well, <coughs> I had multiple dreams, but the dream was about people I knew. But in one of these dreams, the, this is what the Lord told me: Everybody ain't your brother and your sister because. Uh, in the dream, he was showing me something that I was talking to somebody. I was at this park, and I was talking to somebody. And as I was talking to this person, uh, a flying bull, like a little, you know how the little fairies, but just know it was Satan, a bull flying by this person. A small bull that had wings. But the Lord, I'm not, you know, the Lord talking about that bell's a bug. But it was a small bull by this person, as I was talking to this person, a small bull was with wings flying by them. And the Lord was letting me know what side they on. And then, that when the Lord told me that, everybody ain't your brother and your sister. And then, I had another dream. And I don't know what this, but look, I was like, it was like the ancient days. You know how the days went on? Uh, back in the days, the ancient days. And it was Egyptian. The Lord say, everybody ain't your brother and your sister. So, uh, cause you know them Egyptians, they into other stuff too. They don't believe in this Jesus Christ. But uh, this woman, it was these two women and this, this child. And they was running inside this palace, the Egyptian palace. And they was trying to leave and escape. But one woman escaped, but the woman with her and her child, they stand at a bed. All I seen them was standing in front of a bed, right? This Egyptian bed. And it was just like they were stuck and they couldn't move. And all of a sudden, an Egyptian god, a demon, a bad demon, because I try to look it up and see, but it came up at the, at the, at the foot of the bed and was standing by the woman and looking down at the woman and the baby. But you know the bed. You know that also sexual stuff. So I'm like, why they got the bed there? So the next thing you know, after I seen that, then I, I seen, like, outside the palace in the desert, this that same demon, the, the, whatever that fake god is, came was after these people this men, these men in this uh horse and carriage and inside the horse and carriage they had gold and they had like uh sackcloth like i think food or something was in there so they was escaping and and next thing you know i've seen this uh that that god that Baal god or whatever egyptian god was trying to chase at them but they got so far they couldn't even get them so they went and got they 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 escaped with their riches and with some um some <coughs> with some um gold and food y'all so the lord got me into this y'all and then the lord also told me to be careful he said everybody ain't your brother ain't your sister we need to be careful he said this is deceiving times this is how the people crept on in the church people that left their eyes off the lord the irresponsible shepherds left their eyes off the lord went into money and greed satan snuck crept on in these Members, they like start issuing them out this money. Oh, they held on tight to these members. They didn't want to give the truth or the word of the Lord or nothing because they didn't want to lose these members, which is Satan. Came on in, then they start having them up into involving with the church. Start doing that's when they Jezebel spirits and all this Satan and crypt in. That's why God said, Everybody ain't your brother and your sister. That's why yesterday he told us, Woe to your responsible shepherds. Because the world is the world, but God separates you from the world. And you go into the world. That's why God told us, make sure women are deceived because in these last days going to be false prophets, false witness, false, false uh, prophets, false witness, false teachers, false leaders. All this. This, this is going to deceive you. These are, these are the same people going to go against you. Gonna, they're going to persecute you. They're the same one did Jesus Christ. Because they're in a different religion. They're of the world. The world, the worldly people, in the, their religions, they gods. They don't want to destroy Jesus Christ. Christ, because God got me into something else, y'all. We got to go into it. But he told me, he said, back then in the Old Testament, they didn't even know, they didn't know how to handle demonic spirits. That's why Satan want to go back to that when, before Jesus Christ came. So when Jesus Christ came, he started casting out demons, started uh, letting know who was evil, started bringing the truth, the light, the light of the Lord into the world. So they got rid of them. They was mad. They wanted to go back into what they was doing. And so these irresponsible 
the shepherds that's up in there, of course they want to get rid of Jesus Christ now too, because guess what? They got a place in the temple where they was Satan, like the Lord been telling us. They want of the world. So you start cutting in off on their money. You start intruding. Now they mad at you because you start uh, going against their sins. Oh, then you cutting off their money. You start bringing their members. Oh, yeah. The, the other day when the Lord told us uh, something about how they want to cast you out of the synagogues. Yeah, because you tell the truth. And how people get mad when you talk about their past, they leader, and just don't know who they follow. Because they ain't in the, in the word of God they still. They don't know the true word they still because they follow whoever's sitting in front of them. Whatever they say, whatever they do. And then we're going to say, get to know him for yourself. It's not about religion. It's about a relationship. Get in your word for yourself. That's why I keep telling y'all, get in the word for yourself. So then the Lord say, we are, he told me, we're in a spiritual warfare. The spirit against, we're, we're the spirit of the Lord against the spirit of the world. And one of our brothers, I'm going to put in a link. Um, He gave me a song about the clock sisters talking about the world. So prophetic. It's something about the Russia, about the world, because the world. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for sharing that with us. Thank you, Lord. But yeah, the spirit of the world. The Lord said the spirit of the Lord is fighting against the spirit of the world. And it was coming up that NWO. The world. Anything of the world is against is against us, against God's people. That's why I say trying to destroy. Because he it want they want the world to think all they gods in their world. So that's why they're gonna destroy God's people, because we're not gonna go along with this because we're speaking the truth. Going against what they're doing. So then the Lord gave Matthew 24. Be careful, no one deceive you in the biggest warfare we are in now. And Matthew 24, let me see you, Matthew 24, y'all. Because he gave me something yesterday. And then he got me with these dreams and got me into something else he gave me this morning. That's why we got to be careful. He, like I say, he, he telling me to be careful, but I'm giving y'all the word too. Like I tell y'all, go for me too. I am, I'm not excluded because he gave me the word first. That's why I say God be showing me about people. I be watching people. Just I know God with me though. Because the Holy Spirit and He gonna let you know. Be okay, Matthew 24. When the Lord said, uh, do not, make sure don't nobody deceive us. Okay. Okay, look at this. Take heed that no one deceives you, for many will come in my name, saying, I am the Christ, and will deceive many. And you will hear of wars and rumors of wars. See then that you are not troubled. For all these things must come to pass, but the end is not here. They are lying. Say they, they are, uh, they'll say that they are, uh, that I am the Christ. No, they not. This is why God said we have to make sure they identify who they are. Do they believe that Jesus Christ came and died for our sins? He came in the flesh, died for our sins. That the Most High sent him. The Father is he the Son of? Is he the Son of Christ? We got to start making sure they, uh, people identify themselves. Because he said they were lying, saying they are Christ. And they not, which they do. And then he said, many false prophets will rise up and deceive many. And, be, and because of lawlessness will abound, the love of many will grow cold. Because he also said in here, right here, and um, and then many will be offended, will betray, will betray one another. They will be offended. And betray one another and will hate one another. Then what God told us, you got to be careful. He said, even the churches, that's why they're betraying you. Because you're speaking the truth. And then so much, they get so much, so clouded in with Satan, he'll take completely over them. A lot of these people, Satan took completely over them. That what the Lord say, darkness. Make sure you have the light in you. Because that's why Satan won't play a number of darkness inside of you. So he gave me that. And he said they definitely have to God's people because uh, we fully in Christ. And that what God told me also. Remember that uh, video? Uh, I told y'all one night I was up and this man was talking about Jesus um, coming with a new name. And only these people, they got these Hebrew names. They don't know. He didn't know but a uh, Hebrew Israelite. But that's why the Lord told us to be careful who we watching. You just, but you have to have a relationship with the Lord. He gives us the Holy Spirit inside of us and let us know who these people are. That's why I told y'all that day. Hebrew Israel, Israelite. They, they, they believe. And then the Lord told me, thank you, Lord. He said some, some of they follow his laws and his, uh, they'll follow God's law and his word, but they don't follow Jesus Christ. 
that's why you'll talk to somebody when God said, make sure you uh, have an understanding with somebody. Don't come in agreement with people. Make sure you have an understanding with people because you can be talking about the same thing. You think you're talking about the same thing. They, is, they ain't talking about what you're talking about because you might be talking about Jesus Christ and they talking about they God. When they talking about it, only God going to come back for those people with those, they, they know it, them Hebrew names and whatever that stuff I told y'all. That's what God said. No. Because you think heaven ain't only made for black people. God got all colors. He's for humanity. This is what God told me also not to be too much in tune into the world. He showed me about our past and stuff. Yeah, he did, but he told me not to go too much into it. Because he had to identify certain things as you grow in life. And that's why he told so many people are going to hate. You can't strive on that. Even though we, we know we, you know, our who we are, our color, we've been into racism and slavery. Yeah, but he said don't dwell on that because then too is more to it. It's not about us, it's about the Lord. And people go into being racism, start doing cults and everything else. That's why I say with well, KKK all them racism. The black they race too is racing all kinds of color. Racism. Racism don't kill. <coughs> and that's what God said, together we stand, divided we fall. But that was Satan do want to start these things. Like that Black Lives Matter, Black Lives Matter. Then you got the KKK. All these ain't no man better than the next man. They all form these groups. It's all sin. So the Lord said, Yeah, he told me, say, we but your brothers or sisters are who you are in Christ. This is why one day the Lord had told me, right? Because I, I was going through like issues with family and stuff. I was all growing with the Lord and I felt isolated. And I was like, Lord, because you talk to people, they ain't on the same level you on and all this. And But the Lord told me he will give me his, I got my own sisters and brothers. I got you, you got your own, like he said, he's going to give us this. You got your own sisters and brothers. There's so many people that's uh, so depressed and hurt about their family turned against them and everything like this. But God said, you'll know your sisters and brothers of Christ. He give us our sisters and brothers. Just because people born here with you in the flesh don't mean they're your sisters and brothers. You understand spiritually, we're in a spiritual warfare. It's what a spirit into this person. That's why I say when God says he separates you, that's protection. <clears throat> He's going to send you his people, your people, your brothers and sisters. So the Lord then gave me, and that's what the Lord is telling me about with the Israelites. Because they'll be having you, they, no. And that man told me that, said that on that on that thing, just how many people follow that man and don't even know what, what, what's, what's really is. Because you got to get to know the word and the Lord for yourself. That's why I say stay tuned into the Lord, y'all. Because that's why even in the churches, people fall short because they just go about what somebody here. And they're not studying the word of the Lord to get to know our Father who are in heaven and Son Jesus Christ for, for ourselves. I'm going to say, don't, the blind will lead the blind into a ditch. That's why he gave us a, he gave us a, uh, I think the Lord that he gave us, uh, the most the most high gave his son, Jesus Christ, so we can have this precious gift that we can have to receive him and, and he can talk to us in our spirit. Because following other folks, for Jesus Christ came, people just doing what they want. But Jesus Christ came to set us free, the Holy Spirit inside of us. Corrects us, guide us, show us where we need to go, that we're going to say obedience with the Sabbath and the Holy Day. And the Lord gave us some, it's, it's the Holy Spirit inside of us. The world going to destroy God's people. The world. The spirit of the world. People in the world. That what God told us. Don't be of this. He said, you're a friend of the world. You're an enemy to me. Okay, then. Um, and that's what the Lord told me. He said, make sure you be careful because people get deceived about. They People do follow the law of the Lord. In some of these places, they follow the Lord, the Lord, and the Lord's work, but they don't they don't believe in Jesus Christ. They believe in the law, and but they don't believe in Jesus Christ. Because the Lord gave me about when the um about when the um, Pharisees was talking to the Lord. I mean, and the Lord healed on the Sabbath day, and they, they try to use God's law against him. Because they believed in the law too, but they they do they was against Jesus Christ. And then the Lord said, had put in my spirit, many people preaching about fear of sin, but not teaching that Jesus Christ died for our sins. Freedom. We are free. 
Because I was so in a dream I had. I know the Lord was telling me this. I was. Some people were set free and some people weren't even set free. But it's more to the dream. I ain't even going to discuss it, but I just know he's separate. He was telling me people are set free and some ain't free because the mindset, the stronghold. People don't know that they're free and Jesus Christ is going to be a slavery mentality and go right on to the world. With that antichrist. Slaves now. That's what God said. The irresponsible shepherds. He got a lot against them. <coughs> Backsliders. That's why we got to stay humble at all times, y'all. Stay prayed up and pray for everybody. I just be praying for the whole world, y'all. And stay prayed up. And God told us to stay coming with the blood of Jesus. Stay tuned into the word of the Lord. He'll plant these his words into our heart, into our spirit. He never leave us or forsake us. Nobody say don't get into this darkness. And be careful who we listen to, what we talk to. That will God, he'll show you. People talking to familiar spirits and everything. Also, I'm going to put in a link there about some years ago about the virtual reality. This woman was talking to her dead daughter. Of the world. That stuff that. Talking to her dead daughter. Virtual reality. They, they two people talking to familiar spirits and everything. You think that that's when that Lord showed me about that dream, about that bull riding by that person, flying by that person. You think I don't know? No, I'm going to keep his people alert, child. Pay attention to God. He talked to you. Okay, y'all. So, um, and that was the Lord say, um, and then, you know, they'll start using God law like they in the world. You, even though the Lord had us with the Ten Commandments, they took the Ten Commandments out and still use it for the worldly things. What you think they ain't going to use God law and switch it around and use it for their own benefit? Because they do believe in God law. But they use it for their benefit and don't believe in Jesus Christ. Die for our sins. Use the law against you, just like they try to use it against uh, Jesus Christ. And uh, there are people saying with sin. Look, there are people saying with sin in the body of Christ. This is what the Lord is telling me about in the churches and stuff. And also with your builder. Be careful because you know you always, you got to be careful who come around you. Because who they sent by. Who you sent by. Sent by the, they sent by Satan or they sent by the Lord. Test the spirit. And they'll be jealous of you, of your freedom, your joy, and your peace. And, and they'll, they'll kill you. That's what, people are jealous of you. I told you the Lord told us yesterday. Be careful. People gonna, these going to be the same people to turn you in or kill you. It's going to be like they like uh, the Lord has shown me like in the Western days. They had um, a reward, a dead or alive. They don't care. They'll, they, just another one knocked off. Okay, I'm going to get in some scriptures in a minute. I just want to make sure I go over my notes. And then I would go and say, be, be, um, he told me, be careful because people always throw up the Old Testament, the old scriptures of the Testament. This is why a lot of these churches, these pastors, they stuck in the Old Testament, that slavery mentality. The Lord told us this before because they'll have you bound. Um, uh, they have you bound. Because they don't, Satan working in these people, and these people still stuck. Their mindset is stuck. They'll still be in the Old Testament. Don't know, don't preach too much about Jesus Christ and set you free and know that you're free. Your mindset. That you're free in the Lord. You're free from sins and everything. When you accept Jesus Christ, you're you no longer a sinner. You're free. Because the Holy Spirit will guide you, correct you, and everything else. So they don't want it. That's why God told us to be careful. He told me to be careful because people preach so much. They, that's, and he said people have doctrines. They'll know this stuff. They'll been going to school and teach y'all this stuff. And they'll repeat this over and over, over and over, and over and over. They, they'll repeat the same thing. You wonder why some people know the word of the Lord so so from the back of their hand, because they, they, they go over this over and over and over. Say know the word of the God of, of the Lord too. But who is they serving? Which God are you serving? The Lord say you're free. The New Testament. That's why they want to go stay, have you stuck in the Old Testament and, in the New, and not into the New Testament. Because Jesus Christ came and died for our sins. And Jesus came to tell us about his father, our Father in heaven, his kingdom. Everything came to us. They freedom. That's why you can't have one without the other. <coughs> and you got to know this too. When you're in relationships and stuff, that's what God said. You got to be careful. You have been sneaking in churches with Bibles. That's what I'm saying. I told you I seen a Nigerian movie. Well, well a low, in 2020, Lord showed me about these witches. Transferred, all of a sudden, these witches on the street transferred into a human being, flesh. I mean, covered as a flesh of a human and carrying their Bible. Going to these people's house, saying they preach, knocking on the door, saying they preaching the word of the Lord. That way you be careful who you let in your house. 
People be knocking on my door. And now nah, you can't come in here. I want to share the word. Now nah, you all right. I, when the Lord tell me, then I open the door. But if I don't have that feeling, I ain't open no door. And then we're knocking on the people door. And these people had a baby. Guess why when the, when the woman went in there to go, she brought a blood of men thinking they giving her the word of the Lord. The woman go get them a refreshment. Why they then took the woman baby and put the baby soul inside a, a bottle? Took the baby soul and put it inside a bottle. And but this pastor was somewhere else. The Lord had downloaded this into him, told him the Holy Spirit told him to go to this woman's house, knock on the door, and the riches were there, and the man freed the baby. And the woman didn't even know she was shocked. Let the people in our house. I watched them Nigerian movies. The Lord has shown me them Nollywood movies. I'll be watching them because it shows, tells a lot. You got to be careful. Everybody ain't from the Lord. Just because they carry a Bible. Just because they say the Lord. I mean, say some scriptures. But is you Jesus Christ, the Son of God? Y'all, we got to be careful. This is what God said. Don't be deceived. We're in them days, y'all. The Lord, the Lord said he's talking so much about the world, the world, the world. Spirit of the world, because he's letting us know what's coming on. It's here. They're already going into this currency thing. They're trying to be over your... They, they can take the riches of the world. Go there, but I'm good with God. God will provide everything. And the son, Jesus Christ, because that's why they want to wipe him out, because they don't want you to speak his name. It's powerful. The demons bow to the name. Because he's inside of you. Great is he that's in me, and he of this world. Why the Lord say that? That's why he say abide in me and I abide in you. He say seeking while you can because it's, it's so much coming. Okay, so the Lord gave me that and I told y'all about my dreams. Okay, so, and then you got to make sure you continue to believe that you know Jesus Christ died for your sins. You're in the New Testament. Jesus Christ died for our sins. This is what you got to keep on understanding because this is what Satan come again. He'll accuse her. He'll accuse you all these things, but then you got to understand, hey, Jesus Christ died for my sins. My, I'm with my father. He with me. He died for my sins. I'm no longer a sinner. I'm free in the Lord. Freedom. Because this is what he saw. He's going to start trying to hit all kinds of stuff against you. Come against you. It's about your mindset. Okay, and then he gave me Mark. Let's go to Mark 3. He gave me Mark 3. Okay. And he entered the synagogue again, and a man was there who was who had a withered, a withered hand. So they watched him closely, whether he would heal him on the Sabbath, so they might, so they might accuse him. And he said to the man who had the withered hand, "Step forward." Then he said to them, "It is lawful." Then they said, to, "Then he said to them, it is lawful on the Sabbath to do good or to do evil." To save life or to kill? He asked them a question. But they kept silent. And when he had looked around at them with anger, being grieved by the hardness of their hearts, he said to, to the man, stretch out your hand. And he stretched it out and at his hand, was restored as whole as the other. Then the Pharisees went out and immediately plotted with the her against against him how they might destroy him. Because they were mad. This is what God told me, you see. And he told us, he said, uh, he asked the question, is it lawful on the Sabbath to do good or to do evil? To save life or to kill? Because on the Sabbath, you know, it's a rest of the day for the Lord. But also, they want to say, God don't have to do, you don't need to do God's work on the Sabbath. It's just resting. No, God said, it's still to do good. and It's good to do good than evil. Which one you want to do? You do God, they try to use God's law against him. It was mad. But on the Sabbath, God, if he's put you in it, you heal every day of the week. Whatever he tell you to do. So they was trying to use that against him because he did a, he did a, a miracle on, on the Sabbath day. Try to use God's law against him. But God said, yeah, they believed in his law. Why did they say that? Because they believed in the Sabbath. And then what God tells us about their communion on the Sabbath, the Bible with the Pope. Yeah, they, they, they believe in the Sabbath because that's God's law. But they, but how he switched it around and try to say, uh, sinners take this. No, you don't. Because then too, you're no longer a sinner when you've been, you uh, trust in the Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ died for your sin. You got to believe in Jesus Christ. That's the only way you take the Sabbath. Because he died for your sins. You're free. You're no longer with your sins. God told us when you, he told us the other day. Sins that you do this, um, 
some sin is a sin and some sin leads to death. If you do it unintentionally, unforbidden, um, then you know. Y'all know we can go on to that, but you know what the Lord is saying. But still, he was telling me about the Sabbath. So that's what he told me about that. He said, just because they believe in the law and the God's word, uh, but they don't believe in Jesus Christ. This is how people get stuck. So they try to use, this is what God told us. It's going to come a time that they'll try to tell, use, uh, don't get weary in doing good because it's going to come a time that they'll try to uh, use something against you like they do Jesus Christ. But he said, don't don't worry about what to say. The Holy Spirit will give you what to say because they try to use something against you. Satan is an accuser. But you know you're free in the Lord, Jesus Christ. Okay, but Jesus withdrew with his disciples to the sea. And a great multitude from Gal Galilee followed him and from Judea <coughs> and Jerusalem and Adama, I mean, Adumia and beyond the Jordan and those from Trey and Sidon, a great multitude, when they heard how many things he was doing, came to, sit, came to him. So he told his disciples that a small boat should be kept ready for him because of the multitude, lest they should crush him. And he healed many, so that as many as many as had afflicted pressed on about him to touch him. And the unclean spirit, whenever they saw him, fell down before him and cried out, You are the Son of God. But he sternly warned them that they should not make make known make him known. Look at this. What did the spirits do? The unclean spirits, whenever they saw him, fell down before him and cried out. That what God say. Great is, great is he that see me that hears the worlds. Satan, they see the delight. They know they see God in you. That's why Satan want to take over your right hand, your authority, and everything you have in the Lord. They even bow down. That's why I said that's why the world want to take Satan away. Well, Satan want to take, Satan want to take God away. Y'all forgive me, y'all. He want to take away everything, wipe you clean, because he know they want to go back to the Old Testament. You want sin for life before Jesus Christ came. Now they see Jesus in you. So you're a threat. Okay. And he went up to, uh, and he went up to the mountain and called to him those he him, himself wanted. And they came to him. Then he appointed twelve. Now what did Jesus call? He called. That was God say a uh, many a uh, a few how I say a few a uh, many are called and a few are chosen. Then he, uh, he called to him those he himself wanted, and they came to him. Then he appointed twelve, that they might be with him, and he might send them out to preach, and how and to have power to heal sickness and cast out demons. Simon, to whom he gave the name Peter, James the son of Zebedee, and John the brother of James, to whom he gave the name uh, Barnergus, ooh, excuse me, that is, son of thunder, Andrew, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Thomas, James, the son of Athos, Thaddeus, Simon, the Canaanites, and Judas, Iscarts, who also betrayed him. And they went into a house. But like, remember the Lord said about the way one crept in? What, what Judas did? He crept in, but God knew he had enough for a purpose. Then the multitude came together again so that they couldn't, could they could not so much as eat bread. But look at this. The Lord just put in my spirit. They were brothers. The spirit, God called them. That was God said, everybody ain't your brother and everybody ain't your sister. He called them 12. But then one, it's always going to be one in the mix. That's why he said with the churches. They corrupt in. And they called everybody their brothers and sisters. <laughs> okay. Uh, they could not eat so much eat much as eat bread but when his own people heard about this they went out to lay hold to him hold of him for they said he is out of his mind and the scribes who came down from jerusalem said he has Bethel he has bezabud and by the <laughs> and by the rulers of the demons he cast out demons told you lord told bezabud remember that bug satan trying to say um jesus since he cast out demons the demons <laughs> The demons came, um, he healed people from the sick and cast out demons that he was a Bezabub. And the Lord told me, how can Satan cast out, how can Satan cast out Satan? Can't. That's why the Lord say, together we stand, divided we fall. We his children. That's why you got to understand, you got to separate yourself. 
Everybody ain't your brother. Everybody ain't your sister. And he called to, to him. I mean, and he called them to himself and said to, to them in parables. How can Satan cast out Satan? If a kingdom is divided among itself, the kingdom cannot stand. And if a house is divided against itself, the house cannot stand. And if Satan has risen up against himself and is divided, he cannot stand, but has an end. No one can enter a strong man's house and plunder his goods unless he first bind the strong man and he will plunder his house. And the Lord said this was in, in the church to be responsible for shepherds. They allowed him to creep in. He, they weren't strong no more. Their foundation was stronger than the Lord. They allowed him to creep in. They start creeping in the church with the Bible and everything. These Satan, demons, crept on in. And then they called the brother and sister. They money greed, creep on in. And the Lord God say, divide it. Divided we, uh, divide we fall, to, together we stand. So when the head, that's why God said they're responsible shepherds, the leaders, when they start dividing themselves, they start separating themselves from the Lord. So now you into sin, and then you got the flock following you, right on with you. Not all of them, because some people left some people churches. It said, no one can enter a strong man's house and plunder his goods. If your house is strong, your foundation is strong in the Lord, it, it will, couldn't, couldn't creep in, couldn't crept in. Satan couldn't fit, but it, Satan couldn't creep in. But in the church, it did. Irresponsible shepherds. It's like God said he got things against them. And that's why they're compromising. That's what God says repentance season. People need to repent. I ain't saying something. Some, probably, some came back to the Lord. You know, we... We ain't no better than the next one. We all got to stay humble. But God talking about this. The, he talking about the irresponsible shepherd. Got me up into this. And then right here it says, Surely I say to you, all sins will be forgiven. Will be forgiven the sons of men. And whatever blasphemy they may utter. But he who blasphemies against the Holy Spirit never has forgiveness. But is subjected to eternal condemnation. Now the Lord say, look at this. He forgive those son of men. Who who uh he forgive everybody, son of men, but uh, uh but not those who blaspheme against the Holy Spirit. And with the Holy Spirit, Jesus Christ. He died for us. He came, the Holy Spirit became in us. So it, he forgive everything but but bless me of the Holy Spirit. How do you get the Holy Spirit? Jesus Christ died for our sins. Deny the Holy Spirit. That's why God said you got to be careful. Everybody ain't your brother and your sister. And irresponsible shepherds. They're backsliders. You once knew them, then they went on to the Lord. That's why we got to make sure we be careful. Because God said we got to be careful, y'all. Make sure we don't get deceived. Because they, he said, but he who blasphemes against the Holy Spirit never has forgiveness, but is subjected to eternal condemnation because they said he has an unclean spirit. Then his brother and his mother came, and standing outside, they said, sent to him, calling him. A, and a multitude was sitting around him. And they said to him, Look, your mother and your brothers are outside seeking you. But he answered them, saying, Who is my mother or my brothers? And he looked around in a circle at those who sat about him and said, Here is my mother and my brothers. From whoever does he will the will of God is my brother and my sister and my mother. The Lord, look, what the Lord say, who do the will? It ain't the flesh, it's the spirit. What's inside a person? Whoever do the will of my father, whoever do the will of God is my mother, my brother, and my, and my sister. It is my brother, my sister, and my mother. Then my God say, everybody ain't your brother and sister. You got to understand, even in these last days, even though he gave us birth, brothers and sisters in the flesh, but these people, you got to understand, people, they spirit not right. It ain't just when you're birthing your flesh. You walk around calling people your brothers and sisters. We are brothers and sisters. No, we are brothers and sisters of Christ because we're not brothers and sisters of Satan, of his world. So go on after, you can't go around and say everybody your brothers and your sisters. Then I wonder why the Lord said, Lord, I'll be saying brothers and sisters. And you, but I, the Lord had me say, good morning, brothers and sisters of Christ. Jesus Christ. No wonder he had me to make sure I say that. Everybody ain't your brother and your sister. Everybody don't know the Lord. They don't, even though they apply by God's law and his commandments. But, and, and do his works. That's what God said. He, he, when he told us the other day, they'll 
knock on the door, he said, uh, you don't even know them. Won't he open the door? The not, um, get for me, you workers of iniquity. You only have Jesus Christ. You got to have Jesus Christ. Okay, so he gave me that. Then he gave me Matthew 27. This is why they're coming up with all that new age and all that stuff. And that's why I said new age Christianity and that stuff. A lot of you saints. Because they're coming up with all this stuff. This new age era and they swapping and all this stuff. That's what God told us the other day. He said, be careful because they slicking in this stuff on this, this internet. They trying to wipe the word of the Lord away. They trying to switch it all up to go into some other doctrines. That's what you got to get to make sure you have. That's what I told y'all at first again. Make sure you have a word for yourself. Get the Bible because they even switching this stuff up. It gives you a relationship with the Lord, the Holy Spirit. <laughs> the most high son Jesus Christ and give us the Holy Spirit because he said he sent us a teacher and a helper and that's the Jesus, that's the Holy Spirit Jesus Christ the son okay now he gave me 27 Matthew 27 y'all when morning came all the chief priests and elders of the, of the people plotted against Jesus to put him to death and then God had me to put this on the people had me underline the people when morning came, all the chief priests and elders of the people plotted against Jesus to put him to death. And when they had bound him, they led him away and delivered him to Potamus, Pilate the governor. The governor. Now what? The governor. The government. The governor. Then Judas, his betrayal. Look, we talking about Judas again. He's talking about Judas that back then was a disciple. Then Judas, his betrayer. Seeing that he had been condemned, was morseful, and brought back to the thirty brought back the thirty pieces of silver to the chief priests and elders, saying, I have sinned by betraying innocent blood. How you know he was sinning? He sinned because he was a back, he was he know he was a backslider. He knew he went against God. And went to go turn back the thirty pieces of silver. And they said, What is it to, what is that to do do to us? You see it, you see to it. Then he threw down the pieces of silver in the temples, in the temple, and departed and went to hang himself. But look at this, how Satan used you up. This is what God said. How Satan did. enticed him with the 30 pieces of silver, right? Then after he got the 30 pieces of silver, and Jesus, he uh, he had no he did wrong, took the silver back, and, and what Satan said, I don't need it. They ain't going to do me no good. Because he'll use you up when he get through. And what Judas went to do, hang himself. Satan. As long as he gave what he wanted, he'll use you up. He ain't worried about nobody's soul and what, Jesus, what uh, Judas went to do. You want to go hang yourself? Brought the 30, silver, 30 pieces of silver back to my, here you go. He said, what are you going to do with me? I don't need that. Y'all, this is what God said. Please forgive them for what they do not know because all people are going to crucify you. And they said, what is it to us? You see to it. Then he threw down the pieces of silver in the temple and departed and went to hang himself but the chief priest took the silver pieces and said it is not lawful to put them into the treasury but they are the piece the price of blood they consulted together and bought with them the potter's field to bury strangers in <laughs> therefore that field was has been called the field of blood to this day the field of blood then was then was fulfilled what was spoken by Jeremiah the prophet, saying, And they took the thirty pieces, ooh, excuse me, sorry, y'all. And they took the thirty pieces of silver, the value of him who was priced, whom they of the children of Israel priced, and gave them to, for the potter's field the, as the Lord directed me. Now Jesus stood before the governor, and the governor asked him, saying, Are you the king of the Jews? Jesus said to him, It is as you say. And while he was being accused by the chief priests and elders, he answered nothing. Look, being accused, Satan accused him, the chief priests and the elders, they accused him. Satan is an accuser. But what Jesus did, kept his mouth closed. Because God told us, we're going to come a time, we're going to be persecuted, prosecuted. And don't worry about what to say, the Holy Spirit will give us what to say. Then the Pilate, Pilate said to him, do you not hear? How many things they testify against you? But he answered him not one word, so that so that the governor so that the governor marveled greatly. Now at the feast 
of the governor. Now at the feast, the governor, he was steady talking about the governor. The world, y'all, was accustomed to releasing the multitude of one prisoner whom they wished. And that at, at that time, they had a, a notorious prisoner called Bar Barbatimus. Therefore, when they had gathered together, Pilate said to them, Whom do you want me to release to you, Bar 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 Barbatimus or Jesus, who is called Christ? For he knew, he knew that he had handed him over because of envy. Envy. That's why I said the Lord said people are jealous of you. They're jealous of you now. But it's going to be worse. Envy. Why say envy? Because they were jealous of, of, of Jesus Christ, how he was walking, the miracle sign, the wonders, what he was doing, his father, how he cast out demons. Envy of the man. Setting people free. Envy also because he was free. Jesus Christ walking around with freedom. Y'all, I could do whatever I want to do. Oh, my father tell me, y'all can't touch me. He was free. They couldn't touch him. Because he knew where the kingdom, who his kingdom was. Where his kingdom was, it's his father. They were jealous because he. That's why people going. They, they mindset. They, they held captive, bound. They were God say strongholds on people. But Jesus Christ, they were jealous because he was free. How is his? He was free, walking around. While he was sitting on the judgment seat, his wife sent sent to him saying, "Have nothing to do with that, just man. For I have suffered many things today in a dream because of him." In a dream. She suffered many things in a dream. Told her, man, don't, told her, uh, uh, her husband, don't do that. Because <coughs> I suffered so many stuff in a dream because of this man. But the chief priests and elders persuaded the multitude that they ask, they should ask for Barbarimus and destroy Jesus. The governor answered and said to them, which of the two do you want me to release to you? They said Barbarimus. Bar Bar Barbarimus. Y'all know I'm Barbarimus. Uh, Pilate said to them, What then shall I do with Jesus who is called Christ? Then they said to him, Let him be crucified. They were so mad. The world of people, let him be crucified. Then the governor said, Why? What evil has he done? But they cried out all the more, saying, Let him be crucified. Excuse me. When Pilate saw that he could not prevail at all, but rather that a tumult was raised, was raising, a tumult was raising, he took water and washed his hands before the multitude, saying, I am innocent of the blood of this just person to see it too. I mean, you see it too. He washed his hands. And all the people answered and said, his blood be on us and our children. Look, the people. This is what God said to me, the people. Because the the worldly people. And then they said, answered and said, his blood be on us and our children. How you gonna uh, they don't curse themselves and their kids? Put the blood on them and their kids. Then he released Barbar Barbatimus to them, and when he had scorned scorned Jesus, he delivered him to be crucified. Then the soldiers of the governor took Jesus into the uh, Patrium and gathered the whole uh, whole garrison around him and they stripped him and put a scarlet robe on him when they had twisted a crown of thorns they put it on his head and the reed in his right hand but look at this why the crown on his head and in his right hand still have me think about the mindset in the hand the right hand y'all know though his right hand why is it still talking because this was Satan remember the forehead, what you think of, and the right hand. Why is it still talking about here? On the head, on his head, and they read in his right hand, the right hand. They bowed the they bowed the knee before him and mocked him, saying, Hail, King of Jews. Then they sped on him and took the reed and struck him on the head. And when they had mocked him, they took a robe, took the robe off of him and put his own clothes on him and led him away to be crucified. Now as they, they came out, they found a man of Siren, Simon by name, him they compelled to bear his cross. And when they had and when they had come to a place called Galathia, that is the place of place of skulls, they gave him sour wine mingled with a gal to drink, 
but he had <coughs> but when he had tasted it he would not drink then they crucified him and delivered his garments i mean they crucified him and divided his garments casting lots that it might be fulfilled which was spoken by the prophet they divided my garments among them and my clothing they had they cast lots sitting down they knelt they uh <coughs> sitting down they kept watch over him there and they put up over his head the accusation written against him um the the this is jesus the king of the jews then two ro two robbers were cru crucified with him and one one on the right and the other on the left and those who passed by blasphemed blasphemed him wagging their heads and saying you who destroyed the temple and built it in three days save yourself if you were the son of God, come down from the cross. But then the Lord had me to underline right here. Who destroyed the temple in three days and built it on the third day. And they also were mad because he destroyed the temple. Why did he say that? Because they were mad because he destroyed the temple. You know, flipped off. They were doing that with their business. He destroyed their business. They were mad. Likewise, the chief priest also mocking with the scribes and elders said, He saved others. Himself he cannot save. If he is the king of Israel, let him now come down from the cross, and, we'll, and we will believe him. He trusted, he trusted in God. Let him deliver him now if he will have him. For he said, I am the son of God. Even the robbers who crucified with him reviled him with the same thing. But look at this. When they talk about uh, trying to say, let him, let his God come save him. That's what God say. He going to let them, when he come back, he going to say, let that God save them. Now, from the sixth hour until the ninth hour, there was darkness over the over the all of, over the whole land. Look at darkness, y'all. The Lord said darkness. And about the ninth hour, Jesus cried out with a loud voice, Eli, Eli.